Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the event submission form that we use on our front end side to submit event with WP Event Manager. So this uh, event submission form comes with an shortcode. So I'm gonna explain the shortcode and we have an excellent knowledge base about the shortcode as well about the event submission form. So overall, we're gonna talk about the shortcode and the uh, knowledge base and I'm gonna explain it to you the feature uh, the shortcode provides and we're gonna take a demonstration as well. Okay, so for that, let's open our official website and we're gonna navigate to the knowledge base we are talking about. And from there, we're gonna uh, take a look at what it does and I'm gonna give you the demonstration and the explanation. Right. So when you are at the knowledge base, search for the event submission form. Okay. So that should bring up the uh, the event submission from knowledge base. So click the first link, and this is the knowledge base. So over here we're gonna follow the uh, like knowledge base, and I'm gonna explain it to you each step, like each points over here in the knowledge base and what it does with a demonstration. Okay. So the event submission form it's uh, like already present in the website over here you know, where you install the WP event manager so if we go to event dashboard so in the event dashboard we will see a little plus icon that lets us create or like submit a new event from the front end side so if we open this page we will see the event submission from in the front end side okay so if we click on this edit page and open it a new tab we will see all this page has the shortcode called submit event form Okay, so the submit event form, this shortcode allows us to create an event submission form, like fully featured event submission form in the front end side, right? So that takes care of the shortcode and how you can create, let's say your custom event submission. For that, you can click on new, click on a new page, copy the shortcode from uh, the knowledge base, okay? And paste it over here, okay? You can name the page as uh, whatever you like. So if I name it custom event, submission form okay and then update so this will actually create a new event submission form uh, for us as well okay so some people will like to include custom elements as well in the uh, event submission page over here so in that way you can do that where you create a custom page and use the submission form uh, shortcode to display the event submission form in the page okay so that takes care of the setup okay so even submission uh, steps so in the next one what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this event submission uh, like form in an incognito where I'm not logged in, okay? So by default, WP Event Manager requires an account to post an event on the website, all right? So since I'm logged in, we are able to like post an event directly over here. So let's open an incognito and we're gonna navigate to our uh, website. So when we are at the website, we can go to event dashboard, but it won't let you see anything before uh, signing in. Instead, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy the event submission uh, like page URL, okay? So it can be the custom one, it can be the default one as well, whatever you like. So, and I'm gonna paste it over here in the URL bar and press enter, okay? So over here, you will see, we have availability to create a new account, okay, from the uh, post event page as well okay so if i close this and let's close this one close this one this one as well and if we come back to knowledge base you will see in the knowledge base so we have described the account creation step as well in the uh, knowledge base and that we can demonstrate over here okay so if you type in your email address over here so this will let you create an account along with the event submission process Okay, and if you have an existing account in the website, so that you can also use to log in and post your event as well. So if you click the sign in button, it will let you uh, to the WordPress uh, login UI and from where you can log into your account and go back and post your event. Okay, so that's pretty much self explains itself and let's see what we have over here. So even from details. Okay, so account creation is done. We talked about the uh, setup as well. We talked about the account creation step and I'm gonna show you the event form and how we can submit the event from the front end side. So I'm gonna now close this incognito as we don't need it anymore since uh, we described or like explained the account creation step. So let's close this. And over here, since we are logged in, we do not need to log in again. And I'm gonna explain you the event submission form. So first we have event title and let's fill it out as we go, okay? So let's say we type in an event. Okay, so then we have event type, 
we can select other Be event category we can select let's say other as well so over here you will able to select whether the event is online or not so if you choose yes it uh, don't require any location event location so it will hide the event location section from here okay so if you check in no then it will let you uh, type in a event location and a zip code okay so i'm going to choose the online event to yes then you can uh, provide like event tags so event tags comes from our add-on called event tags so if you have installed the event tags that will appear over here otherwise you can uh, skip it as well okay so let's say uh, event and i'm gonna just include one event tag for this event and then we have event banner okay so click on choose file and then browse one uh, let's say image file from your computer and then below that you can type in your event description so let's type in event description okay so below that you will have your registration email or url then you have the video url for the event this is optional okay so then we have the event start date okay let's select a start date let's say 11th start time let's say uh, the event ended the end time and then we have your registration deadline so if you want to set a registration deadline that you can set from here okay then the registration limit as well and since we have installed the uh, sell ticket add-on the we can add like ticket like various tickets from here such as paid ticket free tickets and donation tickets okay then we have even recurrence so this is courtesy to our recurring events add-on and from here you can set recurrence to like let's say a daily weekly monthly and yearly so that's a topic for another video i'm not gonna going to explain or like in depth about the recurrence and then you have the organizer details okay so over here if you click you will uh, able to see a uh, select drop down with all the organizers those exist in the website and one neat little feature about wp event manager is if you don't uh, like have a organizer created for yourself you can click over here that will open a model and if you fill out these details and click on add organizer then it will automatically include the newly added organizer over here as well and organizer you can select more than one for an event okay so then you need to click on the preview so it will take you to the preview step like where you will be able to see how your event will look like in the website okay so this is the standard event listing page and from there you can click on submit listing that will go ahead and post this event to admin for moderation okay so whenever uh, like admin approves your event from the back end side your events will be visible on the website so that's our event submission form and how it works i hope this video gave you a bit of idea about the process if you fail to understand anything let us know in the comment we'll be sure to help you out come join me in our next video where we'll talk about something else something amazing until next time i'm shara saying goodbye thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one